Good morning to all. I am Dr. Chella Pandian, rheumatologist from Tamil Nadu. I am going to talk on how to approach and diagnose spondyloarthritis. Spondyloarthritis is a relatively common disease which is potentially disabling with a serious socioeconomic burden. Despite this significant impact, particularly in young adults, a substantial diagnostic delay is observed because the manifestations are ubiquitous and non-specific like low back pain. Also, there is a scarcity of diagnostic laboratory markers. Despite this, it is important that we diagnose this potentially disabling condition early because effective treatment options like biologics are available, which if employed early in the course of the disease can prevent permanent structural damage. So, MRI one is one imaging modality which can aid in early diagnosis, but there are limitations with the MRI also. So, the physician's judgment and his interpretation of various clinical, laboratory and imaging findings is more important in making a diagnosis than relying upon the criteria. The various criteria available for spondyloarthritis are all classification criteria. They are basically meant for study purposes. So, naturally these criteria should not be applied for making a diagnosis in individual patients. In practice, the diagnosis of spondyloarthritis should be a clinical exercise based on the recognition of a pattern of a combination of a pattern of clinical laboratory and imaging findings. Thank you.